Good morning. Today's your Masha hour, and I wanted to share some ideas with you about how to connect to the day. It's a very hard day and a very sad day, and for some of us, a very foreign day. We don't have family members who perished in the Holocaust. We don't really know how to connect to this massive number of six million. So how do we do it? And I think one of the ways to do that is to find a story of someone personal. Today there's so many movies and accounts and look through Yad Vashem or Steven Spielberg's um, research and um, just connect to one person's story. And um, one of the, the ideas when I was in Poland was we arrived in one of the concentration camps, Majdanek, to this um, to this huge warehouse which to me just looked like... Um, a supermarket that was the size of the warehouse and the warehouse just had shoes lined from floor to ceiling and um, I, I was totally shocked at um, the masses there were hundreds of thousands of shoes there and I took out said to us um, we will never be able to connect to all the shoes in this room but just pink one pair of shoes that stand out to you and they were literally lined from floor to ceiling and then from wall to wall. Pick one pair and imagine the life of the person who walked in those shoes, whose life was cut short, who didn't get to fulfill their dreams, their purpose, didn't get to complete what they started. And I think this is something we can all connect to we think of that, which is why the story of Anne Frank became so popular. Because it's one person's story. When we can really get into one person's story, then we feel it more on the humane level. So something Rabbi Jonathan Sachs says is, is this. There's a profound difference between history and memory. History is his story. An event that happened sometime else to someone else. Memory is my story, something that happened to me and is part of who I am. History is just information. Memory, by contrast, is part of my identity. So today I think is an opportunity to move out of just this as part of our history, but this being part of who we are. And the stories that we hear, specifically for me, the stories of courage and the hard choices that they had to make. The parents, should they hide their children? Should they give them away? When I heard those stories, it made me feel, firstly, how blessed I am to live in the times that I do. But it also made me feel like, please, I can learn from these people's hardships and lessons. And I don't need to go through the struggles and difficulties that they went through. Their challenges did not happen to them in vain. Because today... I can make wise choices because today I can um, interpret and, and um, live out in my own life that which they maybe didn't get to do. So perhaps that's something to think about today. How it's not just our history, but it's our memory as a collective nation, how we all connect together and how beautiful that we are still honoring these people who suffered so much and then even afterwards, who lived lives as survivors with su such hardship and so many challenges. So today, let's try and get into their lives, those who perished and even those who survived, to think what their lives would have been like, to walk a little bit in their shoes and to be in that space. And this way, when we keep those stories and their lives alive, we are able to pass it on to the next generation, which is our obligation today, because soon there won't be so many survivors left, and it's up to us to continue their stories and their lives. So I'm wishing you, wishing us all a meaningful day of connecting to this very tragic and dark time in our history, and also to know that this is what happens in our history. We go down, they knock us down, but we always rise up. This is the pattern of the Jewish people. We always get up. And that is what is, for me, very reassuring, and hopefully for you as well, that as a Jewish people, collectively, when we recognize and mourn together the losses that we have, it makes us stronger to be able to rise up, to say, 
never again. We'll not let this happen again. We don't sit as victims, but we move forward into this will never happen to us again. So I wish us all a very meaningful day.